A travesty of justice. Pakistan's foreign minister called the Indian Supreme Court decision yesterday. India's top court upheld the move by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government to revoke the limited autonomy of Muslim-majority Kashmir, where an insurgency has raged for decades and ordered elections within a year. Pakistan categorically rejects the judgment announced by the Supreme Court of India on the status of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir is an internationally recognized dispute which remains on the agenda of the United Nations Security Council for over seven decades. As the fallout from the judgment rages, one of the advocates who argued for the revocation to be ruled unconstitutional said that history would record the uncomfortable facts for generations to know, and that history alone is the final arbiter of the moral compass of historic decisions. Since the BJP's suspension of Article 370 from the Indian Constitution, Indian authorities have curbed media freedoms and public protests in a drastic curtailment of civil liberties. The changes allowed Indians from outside the region to buy land in it, and seek government jobs and education scholarships, a policy denounced by critics as settler colonialism. Kashmir has been divided between India and Pakistan since the neighbours were granted independence from British rule and partitioned in 1947, when its Hindu Maharaja chose to join the new secular and federal union of India. Initially, New Delhi controlled only foreign affairs, currency and communication, but over the decades, Kashmir's pro-India leaders deliberately cooperated with national authorities to dilute the provision. Both India and Pakistan claim the Himalayan former kingdom in full, and the nuclear-armed rivals have fought two wars over the region. More than half a million Indian soldiers are deployed in the territory to control the insurgency, which erupted in 1989. Over 120 people have been killed in 2023 alone, two-thirds of them militants, a fraction of the four-figure tolls of past years. India blames Pakistan for backing the militants, a charge Islamabad denies, saying it only supports a Kashmiri struggle for the right to self-determination. Calling the decision a travesty of justice, Pakistan's Foreign Minister Jalil Abbas Jilani stated that India had no right to make unilateral decisions on the status of this disputed territory against the will of the Kashmiri people and Pakistan. He warned that Narendra Modi's ultimate goal was to convert the Kashmiris into a disempowered community in their own land. Pakistan does not acknowledge the supremacy of the Indian constitution over Jammu and Kashmir being a dispute, internationally recognized dispute. Former Kashmir Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti, who governed in coalition with the BJP, but whose party was amongst the litigants in the Supreme Court case, also condemned the ruling as a death sentence, not just for Jammu and Kashmir, but also for the idea of India. You've been watching Satellite TV News, and don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, please do drop us a comment below or indeed drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We do love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching for Satellite TV News. I'm Angus Scott in London.